with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. It was a lifelong dream of mine to be a police officer. I, at one time, was involved in a construction company. I worked construction from probably 8 to 10 years with my own company, and uh, the opportunity came up to be a police officer. So I jumped at the chance and took it. I knew I'd never get another chance to be one. So I took the opportunity, took the tests, and here I am today. <laughs> Just got a call for a stolen bike. There are apparently two adults arguing over ownership of a, of a bike. What's happening? I live here. You live here? Yeah. I found this bike around the corner today. <laughs> the last four digits of my social security number have been uh, engraved into it. Okay. And I just showed it to him. He agrees that it's my bike. He says he had it in the for a year. So why don't you bull? Do you have a receipt for this bike or anything like that? Or is it, no, did you just engrave it yourself? No, oh, no, it's an older bike. I got it used, but it was, I got it used from a friend. But I have my numbers on it. I showed them here. 3646. That's the last four digits of my social security number. If I, if I had known it was stolen, I wouldn't, you know. Have been How did you come to get possession of this bicycle? I was in, the frame was, was in, in the cell. cell. All I got was the frame. How did you come to get possession of this bicycle? Because the people moved out from downstairs, and it was one of the, th that wasn't all together. It was just a frame. And we rebuild them, or he rebuilds them. And that's why it's got tires and everything else on it. I'm just going to talk to him for a second. Hold on here. What do you want to do about this? Oh, I think they're just going to leave the bike. I don't really care about press and charge. It wouldn't do any good anyway. But some, they, claim, they claim that they found it in the garage, or in their cellar, but it was stolen out of my garage. Yeah. Well, I, mean, yeah. I, understand, I understand what he's going for. Yeah. Yeah. The light if it was me, I'd... Huh? How about the light? Was oh, yeah, the light. There was a light, a headlight on it. Yeah. Now, look, at you got, I will press charges. You want to do it that way? No, it's just... Okay. It's a stolen bike. You put stuff on it. You, you're going to have to chalk it up to experience, or he's going to pursue it press charges. Do you understand? Yeah, I do. You should, should have never done that. You should have never invested any kind of money into it. It's not yours like to begin so, with. It wasn't, wasn't originally on that bike, but I understand what he's saying. Well, she's home. <laughs> the two gentlemen wanted to argue the fact that it was theirs and that they hadn't stolen it, but, in fact, it was receiving... A stolen bicycle, which is a misdemeanor in Massachusetts, but uh, it all worked out. Yeah, can I get a report number from the previous call? We received a call that there's an over uh, truck on the boulevard going off there right now. I can't see yet, Bob. I can't see. 
There's blood all in here. I can't see anyone yet. I think he left. Hang on to this door, Mike. It's going to shut on me. Maybe uh, Drayton could assist us uh, down on First Street Boulevard until our guys get here. They can close it. I don't see anybody. Okay. Uh, did they witness it? Hey, Dave, he definitely took off out of here. There's footprints heading out the door, so, and, it, and they're bloody, so, so someone's going to be cut pretty good. Get down in front of the condos, guys. I guess the, the victims walked down to the condos down here uh, and called for the help down there. Who is driving the car? <laughs> Who's driving? Huh? Who's driving? I don't know. Were you in it? No. You weren't in the van? No. You weren't? Me? Yeah. No. What, what happened to your head? Me? Yeah. Nothing. Sir. Nothing happened? No. You have blood all over your head and glass in your forehead. No. I can see it from here. No. You don't? No. No. Really? Who was driving? You? Who was driving? You don't know? Was it you? Did you drive? No. And it wasn't you? No. You? Well, for those that speak English and don't want to, I get an interpreter coming, okay? And if you don't cooperate, guess what? Everyone's going to jail. You have to know who was driving the vehicle. Yes, sir, but I'm not driving, sir. Well, then you tell me who. Sir, you, you, the, the, uh, the police, right? Yes, I'm not driving, sir. I'm not driving. Then who the was? Van. I don't know, sir. You I'm were not driving the van. I say, I respect with you. Okay? You were in the front seat. Then tell me who. I don't know, sir. You don't know who it was? I, I say, sir, you police, right? I don't know who's the, 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 I don't know. You don't know who was driving the van? I don't know, sir. Just jump right in the car. What's going to happen now is everybody is going to go down the police station. We're still looking to figure out who is the driver of that motor vehicle. Everyone's got their story pretty well together, though. No one seems to want to, to budge off the story. No one seems to know what the guy looked like, except for the guy we believe is driving it. So uh, we have a little bit of work ahead of us. I've been the, uh, a police officer 11 years, uh, going on 12. 95% of that time has been here in East Boston. <sighs> Vic, how about, a, how about a cutlet sub the way I like it, Vic? No mustard. There you go. What do you mean no mustard? Where's the mustard? Is that punishment? You work it? Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Wow, that looks good. Vic. Woo! Good talk. <laughs> Zero to the smile. Let's go with, uh... Let's go with it. Let's go um, it's kind of weird. We just got a call for a shoplifter. Um, the guy's following him or chasing him down the street. So I think they spotted him up here. All right there he is over there. All right. Get him there. Yeah, two one, sir. And I, I came in here and I got some. And then I just came and I got that. And you said you'd be on the level with me. And I said, okay. Are you from Liberty? Are you from Liberty? Yeah. Okay. I just followed them all the way down there. And you said I'll yeah, be on the level. Two one. We're, we're with them so. now. We're bordering uh, Decatur right now. We got. I'll come back in there now, but I did buy. Some, yeah. I did buy half of this stuff. Your bag up, all right? Give it to the. Do you have a receipt? Oh my God. Do you have a receipt? No, I don't. No. Okay. But I, can, I told you I wouldn't come back. I can determine what's mine by my tag on it. <laughs> yeah. No, I did come in there and buy something. No. Tell me what's uh, yeah. where I am. Listen, listen, keep your dog. Okay, stay over there. Just go over there and put tie your dog to the fence right now. Seriously, just do as you're told right now and put the dog to the fence. This gentleman works down at Liberty Plaza. It's a shopping area. He's stating that this gentleman right here ran out of his store with several items. All that stuff went in there on its own, right? No, I paid. I paid for some of this. I don't. I don't have this. Just there. Yeah. I got this there. I got it. Well, first it was the ribs. Now you're telling me this. Your story changes every three seconds there. 
Without any sleep, my man, uh, you got problems. What, what did you just say to me, right? When you said you was being up on me, right? You said, you just yeah. give me what I took, and, okay, and I gave it to you. This is what you took. I told you, I don't have to receive from you. You took everything. Well, I don't think you realize how much stuff you oh, took. <laughs> <laughs> Clark, put your hands on top of your head into lock them, please, fingers. So now I was making up pretty good money at last one of you guys lost five. No, so what'd you say you was gonna do? Listen, leave your hands on the head, okay? One thing at a time here. You know? I I you you use what I took cover things, so I won't come back. What what uh what looks like yours? It's all mine. It's all yours? Every single thing. Yeah, it's all is, is there any cash registers that can verify he came walking in or paid yeah, for anything? Yeah, they got to pay. I, what happened is when I was going to break, I was walking up the stairs. I seen him into the store through the wrong way. This bag, you know how a bag is when it's empty? Yep. Says, I just got a kid last night. The bag was empty? The bag was empty. He had a slung on his shoulder. Okay. Like yeah, okay. I, I, I suspected it. Uh, come over here and talk to me for now. All right? Let's... Well, I'll talk to you. It's all this, man. You know, I, I tell the guy... Put your hands down. Did he, did he go through a cash register? is what I'm trying to say. He walked right out. He walked right out? Walked right out. Okay. Because if... Uh, Will you speak to that officer, man. please? I got a guy last night. You got 17 a... cans of formula. You got any uh, plain clients that walk around there? Okay, no. Right. Listen, do you understand? Don't speak to anybody? Get over there, okay? No, you can't, all right? Until I'm done with it, you ain't gonna get it back. If you continue to go over there, you're gonna get locked up and thrown in the back seat, okay? Thank you. Stay right there. Don't move. Don't talk to him. All right? We're worried about this right now. an idiot, Well, maybe you should feel like an idiot if you're shoplifting. Okay? That's on you. That's not on us or on him or on them. Uh, if I told him, if I, if I would come in, you know, I won't come in there. So no then you'd hit another store? You no, know, I don't, you, I, I'm not, I'm not a, um, you know what I mean, a, a shoplifter. So if I told, if I told you that, would that make any, any, so um, you, you're telling me really? you're not a shoplifter, but. That I won't even, you, you know, come in there and deal with a store no more, I won't, you know, won't, you know. Well, let's see if you show up any paperwork. Have you ever been arrested before? I don't have any warrants on me. I just came from court to pay a fine. Okay, the last time. I, mean, I won't come in there no more. I give you my word on that. You know what I mean? I've been doing all along. It's not working. No, but I... The word's out in the street. I'm that I'm easy. No, no. I'll tell you, man for, man for man, I won't, you know, I won't even come in there anymore. You know? Right now, we're in Paris Street, where the alleged shoplifter lives. We're going to see if he can come up with some type of form of identification so that we know who he is and we'll go from there. We're going to be going to the third floor apartment. Third? Who do you live with? Me and her. You and her. Grab the dog, man. Grab the dog. I have, uh, as I said, I don't have any, um... No. ID, ID, picture, ID, ID, license, drinking ID, liquor ID, something. I don't, I don't have any picture. I don't have any pictures ID. All I have is my license. All right, Clark, do me a favor, right? Put some food down for the dog, cause you're gonna come with us. Third. We'll be down at District Seven, four two two zero. Wow, I mean, we gave you a chance. I, mean, I told you who I was, man. You know who I am now. I don't know who you are. I still don't know the who you are. The guy's the manager of the building, man. You don't even know I your last name. My... You don't even know your last name. 75 years old. He's seen us. Okay, well, that still doesn't help us. You just get me back here, bring my dog back, act like, well, if you show me some ID, everything's cool. Did you show us an ID? Well, he told me I didn't need no picture ID. No, no, no. no. He... Told you license, ID, Forget anything. It. Forget it. Yeah. Unfortunately, he had no form of identification, license, liquor ID, nothing like that. So we let the dog run around the house, and we're going to take him to the station just for shoplifting. Liberty Market's been getting hit a lot down there, and they want to press some charges. So that's where we stand right now. Uh, Officer Norton here is going to transport our gentleman to District 7, where we'll go through the booking procedures. Uh, it figures, though, Mikey. You know, the, the guy's been arrested 63 times. Five aliases, but he's innocent. I think most police officers enjoy helping people a lot more than they do arresting them. Helping people get through situations, I should say, or maybe finding solutions for small problems. You just play, you wear many hats, you play many roles in this job, and um, I, I enjoy, personally, I enjoy helping people. If I'm missing a five-year-old child, not really sure the details. We'll have to go see the mother, see what she has to say. Housing's off 374. 
um, explica que ya la misión es tu. She goes right there to a school that is right here in Bethany building. The daughter does? Uh -huh. She is on medication. She's on so medication. Maybe mm -hmm. she's on the day and She doesn't know if she fell asleep inside the bathroom, in the gym room. She has well, was no the school idea. open today? Estaba abierta la escuela hoy. Hasta que la hora, hasta las tres. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. It was open until 3 o'clock? Uh -huh. Yeah, and then she wants ten, to pick her up. It's in the morning after 3 o'clock. What move. is it a daycare school or what type no, of school? Summer school. Summer, summer school. school. Housing to low. Ma'am, I don't think she would have fallen asleep in the school. Does she have any friends around here? Or? Somebody would have seen her. Has she ever fallen asleep in school before? You don't have any extra kids with you, dear. <laughs> She's right over here on Salem Street. Let's go take a look, see if she's there. Come on, Mom. What happened? A boy pushed me in the pool and she me. A boy pushed you in the pool and... It's okay, it's all right. Okay, why don't we get your clothes? We want to take you home. We have to get some more information. How? You cannot do this. You cannot just leave and go swimming without telling your mommy. Guess what? You changed your clothes. We don't even know what we're looking for. Look at me, honey. I'm not mad at you. You had on a pretty dress. Your mommy dresses you real pretty, and then you have on someone else's clothes to go swimming. And we wouldn't even know what to look for. Luckily, one of the boys, one of the boys knew you and knew, knew where you were. You don't do this again? You sure? It was a real relief to, to find the child. Me, myself as a police officer, you kind of get emotionally uh, involved. It's just um, five years old, that, that's close to home if you have children of your own. And um, as you can see, everything worked out pretty well. Okay, we, we have a domestic um, victims outside the house. I don't know whether, whether she's been assaulted or not. I'm trying to find her, actually. Right. Oh, yeah. They don't mark any of the doors down here. This is beautiful. Hey! Where did he hit you? In the eye? Okay. So why don't you grab this? She got the car, so... She got grabbed. Yeah, she got grabbed. Where is he? He's in the house. Why don't you put that cigarette out, please? Put that cigarette out. Okay, what happened with your daughter? Huh? What happened with your daughter? You slapped your daughter in yeah. the face? How come? He, he, he go around, he no home. No. Okay, so you want to take this? Okay, we, we have to take your husband with us. Can we have, can we have some shirt and pants? Your daughter's been assaulted. She has a big swollen face. Did you see that? Yeah. What happened? He, he's not perfect. Can't do that. Have to go to court tomorrow. He can no hit. No hit. He can't hit. Can't hit you. Can't hit her. Can't hit him. Can't do that no more. Michael. So you need to put your hands behind your back, okay? Being arrested for. Domestic assault, battery, okay? I'll take it one second, Michael. Okay, stay right here. Stay right there. That's, you can just lean up here. That's good right there. Hey, that's the sergeant. You know you can't hit your daughter, right? You can't hit her. Ever. Can't hit nobody. Oh, you can't hit your daughter. No fault. No school. No school every day. Well, it's summertime. No school. Before two. Before she wouldn't go to school. Yeah, then you call the police. Here, I'll get the door. Beyond the realm of correcting your child, uh, when somebody's been slapped hard enough to leave a mark, that's an assault and battery. That's domestic abuse. Um, it takes the guesswork right out of it. Okay, well, 